How can you get out of your head and stop overanalyzing a situation so that you can actually take appropriate and effective action? Okay, so there's two situations. There's the imminent situation where you need to make a decision on going and starting a conversation with a girl, for example. And there is the less imminent but also important situation where you are evaluating how to respond to a girl or how to approach a girl or how to connect with a girl online or in person, but it's not as time sensitive. So there's a couple of different ways to handle this. Let's go with the imminent situation. So if you know that you want to approach a girl and you've got cold feet or you've got approach anxiety happening, then one of the things that you can do right away is go to your senses. So for example, uh, I can't remember who suggested this, but it's a great tip for being able to take action. And it does take a little bit of time, like this just takes a couple moments, depending on how quick you are, but the more you practice with it, the better you'll get. So what you want to do is go through your five senses. So five things that you can see, four things that you can, what is it, hear, uh, three things that you can touch, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. So when you go through all of those things, what happens is that you become present and you can't be present at the same time as you're having anxiety. And you may not have to go through all of them. Maybe initially you do because you're really nervous, but eventually you can get present enough that you will actually not lose the opportunity to be able to go and talk to somebody or take action when the time is critical. So that's when something is of time is of the essence. One thing I will suggest is that if you get the instant confidence formula, which is free, and there'll be a link to it up here somewhere, what they are there, you can get that and it will help you. It gives you one of the tips to having that instant confidence when you really need it. And then it'll take you to a page where I give you four other tips. Well, now it's going to be three other tips because I think I put the five five senses as one of them. So there's three more tips and this is the only place you can actually get this program. I don't offer it or sell it anywhere else but if you click through to that then you will get that and I think there's uh I can't remember is there five videos there's I think there's five videos and then I also give you what do I give you and I give you some cheat sheets along with that that are also not found anywhere else and I haven't even done videos on these so I've got to save some stuff for people who are willing to take action and because I believe that if you are willing to take action you should be rewarded so the extra bonuses that you get with that are how to make a lasting first impression so that she won't forget about you in a good way and then also some instant body language hacks so that you can appear more confident than you probably feel inside and then the third cheat sheet that you get for free and only in this place is the three icebreakers that you can use any place anytime so this way you don't have to wonder if you should use a particular canned line these three are very natural and you can use them anywhere and again, this is only available with that program and only available through the Instant Confidence free cheat sheet that will then take you to the page where you can get the Unshakable Confidence system. So then the second time that you want to be able to get out of your head and be able to think clearly about a situation is when you have actually time to think about a situation. So if you are thinking about how you're going to reach out to a girl online or how you're going to reply by text or various things like this, a really good way of doing that is to write it down. So you're going to write down on paper what you're struggling with. And typically what will happen is when you write it down on paper, then you can write out all of the potential actions that you can take. And what I would suggest is doing just a free flow. So you write down this, the problem or what you think is the problem uh, of what you're over analyzing and then you write out all the possible scenarios that could happen with different actions that you take. So like if I reply to this girl right now, what are the possible consequences of that action? And then you write out beyond that what you can do with each of those consequences, like whatever her reaction is, then what you would do after that. And so the act of actually writing it out helps to give you some clarity in terms of what to do rather than just having it swim around in your head like a fish in a little bowl because it will just continue to confuse you. 
And if you have a specific situation that you want advice on that you're overthinking right now, write it in the comments below and I'll give you my best general answer that I can. If I see the comment, sometimes YouTube doesn't show me all the comments, or if you want personal coaching or even a one-on-one -on -one, like phone session, then I will put a link to all my coaching services that are available in the notes below the video. So hope this helped. Let me know. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when I do post new videos as well as you'll be notified if I make any special offers in the community section of my YouTube channel, which you won't otherwise be notified of. Yes, that's it. Thank you and goodbye.